Hey historians, welcome to Decoding the Test and our final look at World War II. As always, this is not everything I would want you to know about the Second World War. For that, make sure you check out the details that are in front of you. Instead, it's a look at what the test has focused on again and again over the years. And when we look at it in that light, we really see that the test is only focused on four areas of World War II. The first is inclusion questions, the non-traditional narratives that focus on the role of racial minorities in the war. Most common example is the Navajo Code Talkers. The second is the American home front, victory gardens, women in the workforce. The third is how America gets into the war, Pearl Harbor. And finally, what we're going to look at today, how technology changes during the Second World War. Now this almost always revolves around the atomic bomb. The atomic bomb, what do you need to know? One, you need to know the code name for the project that creates the atomic bomb, the Manhattan Project. So what you have here is a diagram that says the beginning of World War II led to the acceleration of the Manhattan Project. So in other words, the onset of World War II led to more work on the atomic bomb. The question is, this diagram indicates that during World War II, the federal government was doing what? This is one of those examples where the test is being very vague. It doesn't want to come out straight out and say atom bomb, not in the answer choices, not in the question. So it's making you look for something that basically is describing an atom bomb without coming out and saying atom bomb. The answer choice is G. They developed a new weapon designed to gain a strategic advantage over enemies. That's what the atom bomb was. That is actually one of the most understated descriptions of an atomic bomb that I can possibly think of. Uh, and it might be so understated that you would be tempted not to pick it because it's so low key, but it's the only answer choice that comes anywhere close to fitting. I would expect to see something similar, something that kind of underplays what the atom bomb was because everyone has a good idea of what the atom bomb was. So they're gonna kind of underplay it a bit. So expect to see something like that. Also expect to see, in relation to the atom bomb, what happens next? You know, when, when we, we drop an atomic bomb, what does that kick off? The question here is, how did President Truman's decision to drop the bomb affect international relations? It's really simple. It basically kicks off the Cold War. The right answer here is A, it initiated the arms race with the Soviet Union. This question more appropriately, appropriately belongs to our look at the Cold War, but I'm putting it here. What does the end of World War II lead to? The beginning of the Cold War, the beginning of the arms race with the Soviet Union. Finally, I have seen a question on radar. You get a little quote here and it's going, which technological advancement is this talking about? It's talking about radar. Radar, the ability to spot things moving through the air, utilizing a radar scope to be able to spot attacking planes while they're still hundreds of miles out to sea. Radar. Radar is a brand new World War II technology. Do I expect you to see that? Probably not. Usually I would expect you to see an atom bomb question, but I wanted to mention radar just so you had it on your <laughs> radar. Um, there's no questions, comments, or screams of angst. I'll see you in the next video.